Hi everyone, I'm Bo Valdez, and welcome to this episode of Get Fit, where we share quick, fun, and easy workouts that you can do in the comfort of your own home. What we call the new normal requires most of us to develop new habits, to keep our bodies and minds as healthy as possible given the circumstances that we are in. And yoga is a great practice that you can incorporate to your regular exercise routine because this keeps the body and the mind deeply grounded and it can definitely reduce your stress and your anxiety. So, it's time for you to align with your body, connect with your breath, because today we will be doing a 10-minute grounding yoga sequence that can help you find your balance. But before anything, here are a few important reminders. So let's begin. Find your way to the top of your mat, just standing up in what we call mountain pose. Feet grounding, legs engaged, energy rising all the way up to the crown of the head. Now bring the shoulders back and down, and close your eyes. And I'm going to invite you to take a few breaths here, just inhaling through the nose, and exhaling through the nose. Again, breathe in. And breathe out. And now you can blink your eyes open. And on your next inhale, reach those arms up overhead. Biceps to the ears and look up. On the exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Let's do this two more times. Inhale the arms up. Palms touch. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart. And one more time here. Inhale the arms up. And this time on your exhale, fold yourself forward, hinging at the hips. And go ahead and add a bend onto the knee so we're soft on the hamstrings first. And then nod the head yes, shake the head no. Now on your next inhale, place your hands on your shins very lightly. Begin to straighten the legs and look up halfway. And as you exhale, go ahead and bend the knees and again, fold yourself forward. On your inhale, look up halfway. Rest your fingers lightly on your shins. And on your next exhale, bend the knees and lower the hands down to the floor. Now you can just simply step your feet back into your plank pose. And from plank pose, go ahead and lift your hips up into what we call downward facing dog. In down dog, go ahead and descend the heels and just like your forward fold, if you feel like your hamstrings are a bit tight, go ahead and add a bend on the knees and just really extend the arms and draw those ribs in. And stay here for three. Breathing deeply into the back body here for two. If you can straighten your legs, go ahead. And then for one. Now we'll take the feet together and inhale the right leg up into a three-legged downward facing dog. As you exhale, look forward. Step the right foot forward. And if the foot doesn't get to the top, use the hand and bring it there. Now stay on your fingertips. Pull the heart forward and slowly lower the back knee down to the floor. You can untuck your toes. And as you inhale, reach both arms up overhead. Looking up to the space in between the hands. Now make sure to pull that lower belly in and to lift up through the upper back. Now take one more breath in here. And as you exhale, float the hands down. Bring that front foot, tuck your back toes under. Bring the knee off the ground and take an inhale first. As you exhale, reach your right arm up and twist the face to the right. Now look up at the right fingertips, inhale here, and exhale, lower the right hand down. We will step the foot back into plant pose, and then lift the hips up into down dog. Descending the heels, breathing in, and breathing out. Now we're gonna do the other side, so take the feet together, and lift that left leg up towards the sky. On the exhale, slowly bring the left foot to the top. And again, if it won't reach the top, bring it there. Once the foot is there, come up to the fingertips. Bring the heart forward. And then lower the back knee down. Uncurl those toes. As you breathe in, reach the arms up overhead. Reaching up 
lifting from the lower belly, lifting from the upper back, gazing to the space between the hands. And then slowly float the hands down. We're gonna twist on the other side. Take the right hand to the floor, tuck the back toes under, and lift that left arm up as you gaze up towards that left hand. Stay here and inhale. And exhale, lower the left hand down. Now we'll step it back to plant pose. And then lift the hips back up to down dog. Breathing in and breathing out. All right, we're gonna move on from here and add a little bit more postures. So we're gonna inhale that right leg up. And slowly step that right foot forward in between the hands. And this time, go ahead and spin the left heel down to the floor. Inhale both arms up towards the sky in what we call warrior one. Allow the front knee to bend. Allow that back leg to stay strong and engaged. Now take one more inhale here and then open up the warrior two. Now notice how my back foot will adjust. My stance will get wider. Now bend into that front knee. Keep the arms engaged. Look towards your right fingertips and breathe in and breathe out. Now straighten that right leg. We will hinge at that right hip and reach, reach, reach forward as far as we can. Lower the right hand down and send that left arm up to the sky in the triangle pose. Inhaling here and exhaling. Good, now look down to your right foot. Re-bend the front knee in the warrior two. And then windmill the hands down. So right hand down, left hand down. Step your right foot back to plant. And take the hips back up to down dog. Descending the heels. And of course, yoga is about balance. We'll have to do the other side. Left leg up, inhale. And as you exhale, step that left foot forward. Into the space between the hands. Spin the right heel down. And you want to lift that lower belly up. And as you breathe and rise all the way up, so you're riding the breath as you come up. Bend that front knee, lift through the upper back, look up to the space between the hands. Warrior one. Now open up to warrior two. And again, adjust the back foot a little bit. Bend into that left knee. Look forward to the left fingertips. And keep those arms nice and engaged. Breathe in. And breathe out as you sit deeper. Now straighten that left leg. Hinge at that left hip. Reach as far as you can. And then lower the hand down to the shin. Inhale the right arm up. Look up towards that right hand. Triangle pose. Inhale. And exhale. Now look down at the left foot. Bend into the left knee. Back into warrior two. Nice and strong. And then windmill the hands down. Left hand down. Right hand down. Step that left foot back to plant pose. And then lift the hips up. Into your down dog. And we inhale. And exhale. Again, breathe in. And breathe out. All right, guys. Come up to your tippy toes. Gaze forward. Bend the knees. And just take a big step all the way to the top of the mat. Inhale. Look up halfway. You can place your hands on your shins and fold yourself forward as you exhale. And with an in-breath, you're going to bend the knees and sit yourself down in the chair. Take a breath in here. Now, this is going to be a bit challenging. Go slowly lower all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, until the hips lower down to the floor. All right, you're going to use your hands now and push the bum back. And sit up nice and tall here in what we call staff pose. Now, from staff pose, if you feel like your hamstrings are too tight, again, bend the knees if you have. All right? So we're going to reach both arms up. Get ready for your seated forward fold. Exhale. And the hinge at the hips. Just leading with your heart on the way down. And whatever you can hold on to outer edges of the feet, your outer ankles, if you have a towel, wrap them around the feet. That will be good as well. And just breathe here. Inhale. And exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. Okay, we'll slowly look up halfway. 
and find our way back up to seated. Now bend the knees, feet touch, let the knees play out to the sides, hold on to the feet, and then lift up the heart, breathe in. And as you exhale, fold yourself all the way down again, leading with the heart, and use your elbows to push those inner thighs down. And you won't stay here too long. So just bowing down and then with an in-breath, slowly rising back. Now bring the knees to touch. And you can find a simple cross-legged position to end your yoga practice today. Flex the feet, cross one shin in front of the other, and sit up tall. Now just bring the hands to the heart center. Feel free to close your eyes. And in yoga, we always say, the light within me bows down to the light within me. Namaste. I hope that you enjoyed that grounding yoga sequence that we did together today. Remember, this is something that you can do anytime if you ever feel like you need to stop, realign with yourself, and find your breath. So thank you so much for practicing yoga with me today, and I hope to see you again on the mat. Remember, stay home and stay fit.